Goodest morning, my friends. Today, I'm going to be doing three different heatless hairstyles, and we're gonna see how that goes. Will expensive equal better? I don't know. Anyways, this video has been so requested ever since I posted this video on my TikTok, so I'm gonna be starting from $25, $5, all the way to free. Also, at the end of every like round, I'm gonna be rating my hair on four different factors. Comfort, like when you're sleeping, ease of like doing it, look, how it looks, and then value, like is it worth the price? I'm literally so excited. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get right into it. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, hi guys. I got my sister Amber right next to me. I just washed my face all crazy. Same, I just took a shower. Bed. It's fine though. We're gonna do our heatless curls. This is called Charlie yeah. Curls. It cost me $25 on the internet. Anyways though, did let's hope them? that it's worth it. Nope, just one, I believe. You said I was gonna do it. No, I just said you're in the bathroom with me. I look really bad. I actually don't really wanna be in this. Okay, yeah, that's totally fine. <laughs> Amber's for the culture. Insanely bad. No, you look much better than me. What are you talking about? Oh, this is velvety. Oh, this is You've exquisite. never used this before? No, this, I just took it out of the box. I'm gonna use my bond smoother. Aw, we're hair bonding. Mm. Yes, literally. The hair sisterly bond. The whatever hood of the traveling hair bond. The what? what? <laughs> the, the sisterhood of the traveling hair bond. The sisterhood of the traveling hair bond. actually feels pants. amazing. Yeah, it actually really does. Like, that just fixed my hair. Now I'm actually very happy to be in this video. My back hurts. Hey, I'm trying to fix the camera. Camera, man. <laughs> it's like missing when you have layers, it's hard to use this product. Wait, wait, wait. wait. But how do time. I close down? this? Big reveal? <laughs> you just put your finger in my ear canal. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Don't complain. You liked it. Yeah, I don't really know what this is, man. It's kind of fire, though. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. But boy. But boy. <laughs> Secure. <laughs> that looks pretty good. Well, anyways, my bangs don't really fit into it, but that's kind of okay. I like a loose curl, so I actually am like pretty optimistic. It is if I it move my head, it's out. going to fall. But maybe if I'm laying down, it'll be fine. Maybe I didn't put in the product correctly, but I tried. Okay, hi guys, it's past eight o'clock, which sucks because that means that I missed 15 minutes of my class so far, but it's fine. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys my hair. It's gonna be awesome and great, I hope. I thought I was gonna have like really loose curls, but actually the bottom of my hair is like very tightly curled. Some parts are like almost straight. It's probably because I low-key curled it wrong. Then for the rest of the day, I basically just put up my hair like in a bun because I could not bear to have it down. And I didn't really do much that day other than this quick little haul with my brother. Andrew just picked up his stuff from the skate shop. So he's gonna show it. Hat. A hat. Whoa. Free Jessup. Grip tape, nine inch <laughs> polar skateboard deck. Where's my phone? Two thirty, either in the bag or wherever. Check your pockets. What's up? It's not in the pockets. I don't know. Ashley's looking for her phone though. Oh, oh my God, <laughs> Andrew, why would you do that to me? Fifty-three mil Spitfire Formula Four. He's getting that chunky board. No, the chunky. Okay, whatever. They're full conicals. I don't know. I wanted to get lock-ins, but they're not available anywhere. And then I wanted to get OGs, but maybe we're not in good colors. A T-shirt to support the local skate shop. It says heirloom on the front. Heirloom. Heirloom. Sorry, <laughs> heirloom. And then I got a beanie, a red one. Very awesome. A butter hoodie. And it has cute little flowers, and it says butter on it. And then my dog went to the vet, and he was so sad. He was really not happy. He wanted to come back in the car. And then after he got his little shot, he was so anxious. Okay, guys. So let's give this one a rating. This one I actually rated 10 out of 10 because it was very comfortable to sleep in. All of your hairs on the top of your head. As for ease, I rated it 6 out of 10. It was kind of difficult to do, especially if you have layers. Look, I rated it 2 out of 10. Unfortunately, I think I did it the wrong way. Maybe I'll try it again and it'll look better, but like I definitely did it the wrong way. My hair got like squished at the bottoms and stuff. And then for its value, like, is it worth the price? I rated it two out of 10, just because for the look, I don't really think it was worth $25, but maybe if I learned how to use it correctly, then it would be. Okay, so it's been like a couple hours since I took a shower. This is how my hair looks. This is my natural hair. Um, anyways, we're gonna try this. We're gonna give this one a try. Looks like the flat part goes across the front of my head. Basically what you do is you just like continuously take strands of your hair and wrap it into the band. <laughs> It's 
and they're pretty good. So you like very 1920s hairstyle vibe. I'm gonna go to bed and then I will show you guys how it looks in the morning. Morning guys. Oh, my first words of the day. Good morning guys, it's Thursday. I just wanna show you how my hair turned out. Okay, this looks pretty good. Looks like I actually stayed in. I think the bobby pins definitely helped a lot. It wasn't like super comfortable to sleep in it, but like if you sleep on your side, then it's like okay. like George Washington bruh do you guys love it do you guys love it kind of awesome my hair looked insane this morning so I just put it up in like two little top buns since my hair was so curly it like stays in the buns really well so that's actually pretty nice and then as you can see like the front of my hair is still very much curled hey ready yeah This is gonna be a strike. <laughs> you dropped it that way. The music turned off. Yeah, yeah. Can I do the strike? Nice. Okay, time to rate it. This is $5 one from Walmart. I rated the comfort when sleeping a three out of 10. It was actually not comfortable almost at all because like all your hair is bunched here and it's just like it was really hard for me to sleep. Ease, however, I rated it nine out of 10. Very easy to do, very straightforward. And then for look, I rated it one out of 10 because as you guys saw, I look like George Washington and my hair like never like settled out of the curls. They just stayed in like the huge curls the entire time. And then for a value, is it worth the price? I rated it three out of 10. It definitely like works a little bit better than using a typical headband just cause it was like a little bit more chunky on the sides, but still I could have just used a regular headband and like it probably would have turned out exactly the same. So this is the way that I typically do my hair. Um, just set a scarf like right on the top of your head. I keep it in place with a bobby pin and then it's kind of hard to see this, but I'm gonna try my best. Take two pieces, just two pieces. Try to grab them like as much as you can on your head. Don't leave like a missing piece in the middle and then wrap it over the scarf and then grab two pieces on the side, kind of adding it in like similar to a French braid in a sense and then wrap it under. Okay, now once it's wrapped under, grab two more pieces from the side and then wrap it over. And so you just kind of continue this down your entire head. It's actually really not so similar to a braid, so try not to get like confused with that, but it's mostly just like a twisting thing. So every time you twist, grab a little bit more hair and then twist either above or under. One more time, I'll show you guys on this side. We're gonna take two pieces of hair at the top. Try not to leave like a bit of hair in the middle, like grab just two right next to each other and then twist them over the top, okay? And then grab two pieces of hair on the sides and twist it under and then twisting it back over. And then of course, doing this all the way down your hair, twisting above and over and grabbing a little bit of hair into each of your hands every time. Try to get all your hair into it by the time you get to like, like your like the nape of your neck and then after that you just kind of continue to um, twist it above and under without grabbing any extra hair because obviously all the hair is already in there until you reach the bottom of the scarf and then you just can tie it off with a ponytail okay guys I have class in like five minutes 754 and we're gonna see what my hair looks like so let's do it this is what the curls look like immediately out of the scarf. They're actually like relatively tight curls. It feels so bouncy, like it's actually insane. Okay, so this is like typically what it'll look like. Or sometimes I'll even put water in my hair to just make it like a little bit more loose of a curl. But yeah, there we go. Okay, hi guys. It's day two of these curls from the scarf. They just look like this. I just did yoga, so I might look a little bit sweaty, but let me just take it out of the ponytail so that you guys can see. Okay, so my hair generally holds curls pretty well. I actually like them better on the second day because they're like a little bit looser and more natural looking. Okay, hey guys, last rating time. I'm going to be rating my like scarf method, very similar to like the bathrobe whatever method but for comfort I rated it four out of ten it's like honestly like not the most comfortable thing to sleep in just because like you have like obviously like the scarf on the side of your head if I sleep on my back it's not that bad but like if you have like a squishy scarf like it's fine as for ease I rated it four out of ten for me it's very easy but I think it could be difficult maybe to at least initially learn especially if you don't know how to braid I feel like it'd be really kind of difficult to do it at first so that's why I rated it a little bit lower on the ease portion just because it's like 
seems a tad bit difficult. However, for looks, I rated it 10 out of 10. So this is similar to like what my hair looked like afterwards. My hair's kind of frizzy right now, honestly. But like this has been the nicest curl that I think I've seen from any heatless method that I've done. So I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. I think this is definitely my most recommended way to do it. So if you're looking to like actually get like nice curls, I would say definitely try to do the scarf way because it's turned out good every single time for me. So and then as for value, I, I consider this free free because I feel like most people will just like have a scarf already in their closet. So for the value I rated it 10 out of 10. Just take an old scarf and it's literally that easy. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes free is better guys. Anyways, that brings me to the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and I'll have many more videos up soon. So I will see you guys then. Have a wonderful, beautiful day. Peace.